Hi guys, welcome back to my show with Joyce. So today I am actually going to show you the step-by-step, -step, hopefully this works out great, of how to make this iPad and phone stand. Um, so let's go ahead and get started really quickly before I lose my feet again. So you will need poly pellets or rice. I typically use brown rice if I am using that as a filler. You will need your stuffing. Um, and this I get from a pillow. It's much cheaper to just buy a pillow and just use it for that. Pick up a pillow for five bucks at Walmart. You'll need about, uh, 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 well, you'll need one inch by five and three quarter inch fleece. And the main thing is your fabric piece, which will be 12 by nine. I'll put all that on the screen so you can see uh, the measurements. So come along, let's go ahead and get started. So first you want to take a fabric, fold it sideways, um, and you're folding from the longest side, uh, from the, yes, the longest side. And next you're going to put the stitches, just like you see me, make sure you leave the opening there. My opening is about an inch and a half, and then create an A, as seen there, fold, and just iron flat. Once that is done, you want to measure two inches from the bottom and then one inch from the first mark and do the same thing again for both sides and then what you're going to do is insert your fleece um, actually it's supposed to be on the other side blooper anyways you want to put your fleece um, along the lines that you just um, did sorry I'm gonna correct that I think it correct <laughs> there you go <laughs> And um, here I typically use a safety pin. I didn't have one handy, so I just used a pin. Um, use a safety pin, it's much safer. And then stitch just like that, and then turn things inside out. Remember, you are not holding that fleece to both sides to allow you to fully open things inside out. And then now you're gonna stuff, stuff, stuff away, close the stitch, and then add in your poly palettes. I just rolled a paper and uh, to use as a funnel. And next, you're gonna stuff stuff away, and there you have it. Okay guys, there you have it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> and hopefully today's video actually keeps. Anyway, so I have these two. My girls, I'm sure, will fight over which one or who gets what. Um, the reason I use weighted, um, weighted pellets is because it helps as far as keeping it down instead of having something that floats around all the time. Um, I use black thread just to make sure you can see the stitches and understand what I'm trying to do. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you're not already doing so, hit that plus button to get notified the next time I post. And also remember, I teach classes. So if you're interested in learning to sew, you can go to isewithjoy.com to learn more. Have a wonderful day and thanks for joining me.